We're going to balance the oxidation reduction reaction when iodide, the ion becomes the element iodine, and when dichromate becomes chromium-3 in acidic solution. So we're going to start by, and we're going to use the atoms, oxygen, hydrogen, electrons method to balance this. We're going to start by breaking this reaction down into two half reactions. So we're going to just look at iodine first. Iodide goes to I2, the element, and um, we need to balance out the atoms. So on the right I have two iodine atoms in the I2 molecule, so I need to put two uh, in front of iodide. The next thing I need to do is um, <clears throat> look and see about oxygen and hydrogen, but there is no oxygen or hydrogen in this half reaction, so we don't need to worry about that. However, the charge is not balanced. I've got two negatives on the left and neutral, whoops, neutral on the right. So I need to add two electrons to the right side so I have two negatives on the right and two negatives on the left. Because the electrons are coming off, they're being lost, they're separated from the iodine, we call this oxidation. This is the oxidation half reaction. Okay, so now we're going to um, work with chromium, the chromium reaction. So we're going to look at this half reaction, Cr2O7 to minus. By the way, chromate, dichromate is a very good oxidizing agent. So um, we're going to add electrons to dichromate. We'll see that in a minute. All right, so first of all, we want to balance it with respect to atoms. I have two chromium on the left, so I need to put a two in front of chromium three on the right. Then the next step is going to be, and I'm just going to do it one step at a time to simplify things for you to follow. The next step is I need to balance out oxygen. And the way I'm going to do that is we add water molecules. So I'm going to add seven water molecules to the right because I have seven oxygen atoms on the left. Again, this is an acidic solution, just as a reminder. So our chromium and oxygen are balanced, but now we've added 14 hydrogen atoms to the left side. And the way we balance that out is by adding hydrogen ions to the opposite side. So we're adding those to the left side to balance out the 14 from the seven water molecules on the right. Okay, so we've got 14 H's on the left, 14 on the right, two chromiums on the left, two on the right, seven oxygen on the left, seven on the right. Uh, what's next is, if we look, I've got 14 positives and two negatives for a net charge of 12 positives. And on the right, I have two times three for a net charge of plus six. So I need to balance out the charge, not make it neutral, but I need the same net charge on each side. So I'm gonna do that by adding electrons to one side or the other. So if I add six electrons to the left side, it will become plus six just like the right side. So let's do that. That'll be the last step for this particular half reaction. So that's our reduction, we're adding electrons to the left, we're reducing dichromate. Dichromate is an oxidizing agent. 
So dichromate is going to oxidize the iodide. But the, in the process of oxidizing something, you get reduced. So dichromate is going to be reduced. Oxidizing agents get reduced. Okay, so then um, we are ready to, uh, and by the way, this is going to be our reduction half reaction. So we'll label that so you can see it rather clearly. What we want to do now is bring these two reactions together and balance them. So I'm going to bring this down and we're going to need to fix something because I want to algebraically add these two reactions together but I can't because my electrons, I only have two electrons on the right and I've got six in my reduction reaction. So I need to get rid of the electrons on each side. I can't have leftover electrons. It wouldn't be balanced. So I'm going to multiply this bottom reaction by three. And then I'm going to uh, write down my two reactions that I have left and balance them. So this is going to be 6 iodide produces 3 I2. Let's make sure we did that right. Plus 6 electrons. That's my oxidation half reaction. Now let's put the reduction reaction below it. I'm just going to copy it straight down because I have six electrons. I don't need to multiply my reduction half reaction by anything. And we'll make sure we've copied everything down. We don't want to make a mistake at this point. So we're going to add these two reactions together, 14, 1, 2, and 7. We're good. We got our electrons on each side. So now I'm going to get rid of the electrons, algebraically eliminate them, and then I'm going to just copy down everything. So I've got 6 iodide ions plus 14 hydrogen ions plus a single dichromate. And then I'm going to add the right side, three iodine molecules plus two chromium three ions plus seven hydrogen, or I'm sorry, water molecules. Let's double check. And let's make sure everything's balanced. So let's look. I've got six iodines on the left, and I've got six on the right. That's good. Fourteen hydrogens on the left, fourteen on the right. That's good. Two chromiums on the left, two on the right. Seven oxygens on the left, seven on the right. So now all we got to do is check the charge. And if that is balanced, we're done. So I've got six minuses, I've got 14 positives, and I've got two minuses. So my net charge on the left is going to be six plus. On the right, we've got neutral and neutral, and I've got two times plus three that's going to be six positives. So we've checked everything. We've checked all the atoms. We've checked the net charges and we're balanced. That's the proper method. One last thing to check. We're supposed to be an acid. We are because we have hydrogen. So we're balanced and we've satisfied all the conditions. And that's the correct balanced equation.